All righty, traders. John Hal here. That is a wrap for this week in the markets. So this could be a bit of a market update across the board. And a few things that I'm noticing as well too. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. All righty, traders. Let's get straight into it. Uh, let's actually... Uh, Trace, one of the big things I'm noticing right now when it comes to people is that they're losing a lot of money, right? Having a losing trade, that's just part of parcel, right? You have some losing trades, you know, you pick yourself back up, you keep moving forward, right? But if you're doing really, really, if you're making a lot of mistakes and you're not sure why, then go over there, go to johnsfreegift.com, put your email address in, register for the free trading course. And um, part no, phase number one in the trading course is all about the biggest mistakes you're making right now and also how to overcome them as well. So I think you're gonna really, really, really get a lot out of that. So looking at um, looking at the stock market right now today, let me actually bring up just, let me bring up a candlestick chart for you guys, because I know, John, show me the candlestick, show me the candlestick, show me. Okay, cool, so, right, so we have the candlestick chart here. And the big thing that I'm noticing right now when it comes to this is that, uh, this is this is this is not this is not the bottom of the market. Right? This is not the bottom of the market. Um, we are starting to see a, a bit of a, a still in a we're still in a pullback phase. So you got to understand. Got to ask yourself what sort of phase are we in? Are we in a movement phase or are we in a pullback phase? Now, what is a pullback? A pullback is just it's not a trend change. It is just, it's it's just part of a trend, right? So we, if the market's coming down like this, we have a downtrend, a down, and then we get a pullback, right? A down, and then we get a pullback. So this is a pullback, not a trend change. This is a pullback, not a trend change. This is, and a lot of people think that, oh, these pullbacks are what? Trend change in the markets. So they would think, oh, look, how we have down, then we have this pullback, like, we, oh, the market's getting ready, the market's going up, it's getting ready to go up, and then it doesn't, and then the market goes down again. And then now we're going through another pullback phase. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna go, and then we're probably gonna get that again, right? So the big thing about trading and trading these markets is that is that understanding what sort of phase are we in? Are we in a, are we in a movement phase? Meaning the market is actually moving? Or are we in a pullback phase? And noticing where, noticing where we are, that actually also gives us a guide of what's what's likely to come moving forward. So, if we have a look at the actual markets itself, we can see we're in a pullback here. So, what does that actually tell us? Is it telling us that we're getting ready for a big movement up? Now, anything can happen, as you know. But the thing that I'm looking at right now is that we're in a pullback phase now. What tends to happen is we go through phases, right? We go through movement phase, and then after a movement phase, we go through a pullback phase. Then we go through a movement phase, and then we go through a pullback phase, and then we go through a movement phase, right? So this is what happens to you know stocks time and time and time again. And so you can see here, let me just draw this through here, down, right? We have a movement phase, and then we have a pullback phase. We have a movement phase, and then we have a pullback phase, we have a movement phase, pullback phase, movement phase, pullback phase. So the reason why that's important to understand is that because if you understand where we're at, we can understand, we can, we know, then we know what's likely to come moving forward. And so therefore, we've had a movement phase and then a pullback phase, a movement phase and a pullback phase. So what comes after a movement phase? A pullback phase and that's why that's why as the market is coming down 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 if the market's coming down and down down and down 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 but you know after a movement phase we go through a pullback phase that's why trying to that's why waiting for the market to go down here and then start trying to short there is very very it's not good because we're probably going to go through a pullback phase but what 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 comes after pullback phase generally a what a movement phase now that then suddenly we start to get into trend change and so on and so forth but looking at this here, we can see that when that we're in this pullback phase, so therefore we're now likely to see another what? Another movement phase. Now we don't we don't preempt that. We don't say, okay, well that's definitely gonna happen. What we wanna see is we wanna see some sort of a breakaway bar, all right? Some sort of a bar to start the movement phase. So if I'm looking this through here, as you can see, we had the pullback and then see this breakaway bar? Breakaway bar started that downward move. Up, sideways, nice strong breakaway bar, 
then started the down move. Up, down, nice breakaway bar, and started that move. So if we can get something like that and the breakaway bar, guess what? We're now likely to start to see something like that in the markets. Make sense? So uh, we, we don't preempt, right? We at least wait for the market to give us the breakaway bar, give us that sign that we're likely to move. And actually, I actually traded this one here. That's why I got that's why I got the area here. I actually traded this one here. And then the market actually had a big, big movement on the downside and very, very, very nice trade there. It was actually a futures trade for me uh, looking at that. So we can see that through there. Let's go have a look at the good old gold as well too. Gold after having that movement on the downside, not really doing much uh, right now, but we are getting very, very, very close. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how gold reacts to this major level of support, whether it's gonna get a bounce there or not. Also silver, just wow, look at that there, right? Just wow, wow, wow. Um, movement up sideways, lots of volatility, and then it started to finally start to come down um, and we had this sort of crack through, the, through there. So um, as you can see, right, look at this here, as I was saying before, that before about the phases, we have a movement phase, we have a pullback phase, and then guess what? We have a what? A movement phase. So depending on where we're at, um, you can see like what's happening there. So, and, and th that, that's obviously one phase. I go through a couple of different phases myself. Um, phase one for me is more like the trend, high, lower high, lower high. Phase two is all about the moving average. Phase three is all about, is it a movement phase, a pullback phase? Um, and then phase four is more that and having an, having an entry bar or an entry signal in that sort of, um, that sort of, uh, what's the word for it? Um, in, uh, in that market there. Let's have a look at the GDX here as well too. The GDX is still holding below this support level here. So uh, once again, as you can see here, Trace, and this is why it's actually so powerful. It's a movement phase, a pullback phase, and now we're going through what? A movement phase. Uh, GDXJ, GDXJ, once again, same sort of thing, right? Movement phase, pullback phase, movement phase. Um, and then we've got this very strong moving average coming down. So miners are looking really, miners are getting, miners are really, 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 really having just continue to go this. But it's, as you can see, it's a very slow grind. It's not a very strong move down, very, very, very slow grind. So, um, but traders, we're in July now. So August, as the markets get through this month, August, September, October, November, December, are gonna be an incredible month, so get ready for it, okay? Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Because if you're not ready, if you're not prepared, you're gonna miss out some incredible opportunities in these markets. Please know what you're looking for. I even teach you my trading system when you go to johnsfreegift.com. I, I teach you my trading system there, okay? So just go get access to that. Um, so SIL, same sort of thing as I've been saying with the other indices and, and same thing for that as well too which is just, um, again, phase number one for me, or the, the sort of number, the level number one is trend, what's the trend? Level number two is the moving average, level number three is what phase? Um, and so when we start to get all of those in line, we've got a high probability of, of having a high probability trade. If we have a lower high, it means we have a downtrend, and then we have some sort of strong moving average coming down, and then we're after a pullback phase, I'm now looking to jump on the next on the next um, movement down, makes sense. So I'm looking for a trend. I'm looking for a trend to be in place. Uh, then I'm looking for the moving average, which is like momentum to be coming down. And then I'm looking for a pullback phase, because guess what? After the pullback phase, or after the pullback phase, I'm getting ready for what? The next movement phase. And I'm looking to try to jump in on that movement phase. And that's all I'm. That's all I'm trying to do. Um, now I teach you, I, that, but then level number four is about what type of bar am I actually looking to get in on? Um, Looking at the good old uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin actually had a movement up. Let me actually bring this over here. That's actually interest rates I'll get to in just a minute. Um, but Bitcoins have a little movement up, but what sort of phase are we in when it comes to Bitcoin? We're in what sort of phase? We're in a, we're in a pullback phase, right? Um, and so as you can see from here, movement phase, pullback phase, movement phase, pullback phase, right? So we're possibly gonna start to see another movement phase coming out of this here. Uh, as well, so but we can actually have a little bit of a pullback through here, and it's to be part of movement phase, pullback phase, and then an, another movement phase. Makes sense. Um, and uh, Ethereum, Ethereum, same sort of thing as well too. The big one I'm actually watching for. I'm actually looking for a shorting opportunity on Cardano. 
Um, this is actually looking for. This is actually looking like it's going to be an amazing and an incredible shorting opportunity. So I'm really, really, really watching that. Moving over now through to the interest rates as well too, and something that I said in uh, I think it was yesterday's video that I'm, well, I'm expecting to see this thing um, start to high. We had a big moving up. We had a pullback. I'm expecting the rally, which is what we're getting right now. I'm expecting this thing to start to roll over and then us actually start to head back down towards uh, towards these low levels down here when it comes to the interest rate. So I'm expecting a pullback with the interest rates there, guys. Hope you enjoyed this market update and I'll see you in the next one. Hey traders, I'm giving away 100% uh, free access to my brand new breakthrough full trading course. This is eight videos over 10 hours of pure, amazing and powerful strategies. This is my most powerful systems of strategies that I've used for the last 16 years and I'm giving it away for free. So this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to johnsfreegift.com or there should be a link around here somewhere, a button or in the description or somewhere in there. Click on that and you can go get free access to my brand new uh, breakthrough trading course. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now. Go to that right now, guys. You can get full, complete, free membership access. Go do that right now.